So this, um, so I will continue uh, the lecture I gave before. Uh, it's uh, about uh, this one for the Nekromanum SQSS1. It's called the Super Common Index. And this is uh, actually the overlapping with uh, uh, Guido's uh, lecture, but uh, maybe this is the uh, last lecture in this week and uh, you are very tired, so maybe it's uh, okay. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so I will start. Okay, so so I wrote down the Suji algebra on uh, S3 cross S1. And uh, of course, uh, this manifold have a So this manifold S3 have uh, SO4, so S2, there is SO4, SU2 cross SU2, so SO4, and there is S1, so there is a U1 direction. And uh, uh, this SU2 oh, contains a J3, uh, I mean J3, and this also J3, and I will call this L and R. And uh, for the U1 direction, a generator is maybe Ham H is Hamiltonian, it's uh, more appropriate, but uh, I will denote it's a D here. Okay. And uh, I will choose the uh, general king, general king spinners uh, satisfying uh, this. Oh, sorry. This yeah. This equation. I mean, it's related to this uh, three direction. Okay. We can choose that. Then, our charge of this one is minus. Uh, this is the same, but uh, then this is a spinner. So uh, I mean <laughs> delta spinner. So it's have a one half uh, momentum. I mean angular momentum. And delta epsilon bar is uh, R charge 1 and uh, J3. J3 have minus 1 half. The interesting thing is that Guido stressed uh, is uh, this, uh, both of them are right one, not left, OK? This may be strange, but uh, actually, we construct uh, a suji on, uh, I mean, for example, uh, I mean, if we, we can consider the, some UV limit uh, of the, this theory, and then a uh, suji uh, algebra becomes a flat one, okay? So then, uh, for that case, SO4, uh, I mean, so this charge have a, a left and right, no, I mean, right uh, angular momentum. But here, it's different. This is for the SO, S3, okay? So this is why uh, we have uh, this. Okay, my, we can check that. Okay, now, because uh, dt equal del t minus, so this Q is, uh, this is our charge of the field, OK? And then, OK, so this means uh, minus del t becomes uh, d minus 1 over uh, OK? Here, uh, I mean, in a previous direction, I write down the Suji algebra. And this one, I mean, uh, we read, uh, I mean, to, uh, from the flat space to here, we just rewrite uh, this d del t to the, this one, this combination. That is the only thing. And uh, that means this is uh, like a twist. Uh, and this is uh, so R charge. So, ah, uh, sorry. I will call this R charge is capital R. OK. So then the dilatation, um, <laughs> or this U1 direction generator, is not t itself, but uh, uh, del t becomes a d minus this, this one. OK, is it OK? And then, 
function s3 cross s1 cross s2 becomes this one. This is a user, just a, yeah, equivalence between the pass integral and the operator formalism, okay? Here, uh, this minus f is because uh, we, uh, sorry, impose the periodic boundary condition for the fermion on this S1. Then, this partition function is equivalent to this one. Here, usually, uh, some the partition function, it's a, uh, here, is a Hamiltonian. So D itself, but uh, because of this one, this twist, uh, this becomes, okay. <laughs> so this is uh, just a rewriting of the passing integral. And of course, there is uh, some, <laughs> some factor uh, because of the uh, there's ambiguity of the passing integral measure and the overall constant that is called Casimir energy. But uh, here, we think uh, it is absorbed in the definition of this uh, uh, a uh, passing integral measure. Okay. Then we can do the further twist. It's a del T to So this is this is possible because uh, first this combination ah this xi and the eta is a parameter, okay, and the m is uh, something flavor similar generator. I for the vector matrix there's no such things, but anyway, this is zero. This is because. This is from uh, this assignment. I mean, choice of this one. Okay. From this assignment, delta is uh, commuted with this combination. And of course, uh, delta commutes with JL3 because uh, it doesn't charge. Okay, only the right one. And of course, delta commutes with uh, flavor charge. Okay. So then, this is a constant. Uh, me constant uh, matrix, a constant generator, okay? So if we think the Suji transformation and the Suji supersymmetry reaction and uh, replacing this DT to this twist, this, then this twist, I mean, this uh, replacing is consistent with the closure of the Suji algebra and the supersymmetry action, okay? Okay, so then, uh, from here to here, then still we can con we have the supersymmetric uh, action on this one. Okay, and then this passion function becomes changed because uh, this one, I mean, <laughs> there's a s one and there's a Hilbert space and x measure minus h or something to here to here. Then there is some, uh, like a Wilson charge here, okay? Then the after the here, I mean, and we give the trace here, then there is some insertion by uh, this element, exponential of this element, okay? Exponential dt. So then the partition function, I mean, partition function with uh, this twist is different from here to, uh, to uh, this one. Okay. So this is an insertion and sorry, X Q. Okay. 
Okay, so here, small process data D, Hamiltonian. Okay, is it clear? Okay. So then the, I mean, partition function is equivalent to this, this one in the operator formalism. This is just a rewriting. And then this, this is called <laughs> super conformal index. Actually, oh, here we do not consider the super conformal field theory, but it's called super conformal index. So why? Actually, uh, if we consider the first super conformal theory on flat space, then there is a user conformal map, conformal map to the S3 cross R. Okay, this is a user cylinder map. Okay, and then there is a delta epsilon delta epsilon bar here. Okay, but uh, what is this corresponding corresponding in this one? Actually, commutator of these twos <laughs> include this D. I mean, S1 direction, it's a Hamiltonian in this here. But, uh, but D in uh, this R4 is a dilatation because of uh, this conformal map is non-trivial, okay? So these should be, if this is a Q, Q and a Q here, then it doesn't give the dilatation. That gives a momentum, okay, here. So this should be S here. Because of S, uh, S is a super conformal, super conformal generator. Super conformal generator and the user Pankare Suji generator gives a dilatation and a special conformal transformation. So this map uh, relates to this S super conformal and the super conformal charge and the user super charge to the, this epsilon and the epsilon bar. Okay. Then, We can calculate. So H, okay. Uh, so then the committer of this one, I mean, we can compute it from here or some. Then we can think, I mean, from this uh, super conversion R4, we can construct just a uh, width index from this Hamiltonian and discharge, like a, this is a QQ, like a QQ bar, okay? So then this is called uh, a super conformal index. Okay, this, this is just a uh, generalization of the width index to the, this super conformal philosophy, okay? Okay, but uh, here, from the uh, localization uh, point of view, or philosophy on uh, uh, S3, S3 cross S1, we don't need to, impose uh, the theory is conformal, okay. But uh, if it's conformal, it's related to the, this conformal index. So this is called the super conformal index. Then, okay, uh, by the Oops. by the change of the parameter there, we can rewrite it as a okay. 
we can rewrite uh, this one into this form. But here, uh, of course, there is uh, some, I mean, th there's only the parameter p, p prime, but here there's a qxy, but uh, some combination becomes uh, proportional to h, and this doesn't uh, contribute. So we can neglect that. So this is called uh, super conformal index, and this is was uh, given by the uh, uh, Guido. Okay. So this is super conformal index. Okay. Then, uh, of course, uh, there is a two evaluate two way to evaluate this uh, expression from the path integral or from the this operator homomorphism. In operator homomorphism, we just count the number of the state. Actually, theory is free theory. I mean, because of the uh, uh, localization, it becomes free. So we just count the free gauge theory. So it's a, in some sense trivial, but it's, of course, uh, not so <laughs> simple. But we can count that. Or using a partition function, so in that case, uh, actually, uh, the theory is free, uh, but there is a S1 cross, uh, the, I mean, uh, the geometry is a three cross S1. So we can, at, uh, for the f uh, even at the free theory, there is a Wilson loop for S1 direction, okay? So we need to integrate over the Wilson line. So it's called A, and uh, of course it's, uh, there's a gauge symmetry, so we take some, a t equal constant. T is, sorry, S1 direction. So then the Gaussian around this one, we can do the, just a Gaussian integral. OK, it's a free theory, so it's trivial. OK. Then the expression is uh, what uh, it's like, it's like uh, what Francesco wrote down for the Two sphere. So this is for the fermion, for the lambda, and this is linear, so this is like a Dirac equation. Okay, with a, this is a, yeah, Dirac. Uh, operator on S3. This is for the gauge field. Okay, so this, this should be big for the vector Laplace. Okay, fine. Uh, this is a C is a, because we fix a gauge, so we need to cancel it as a ghost here, C. And prime means uh, zero mode is uh, eliminated because uh, we integrate it over this A direction, like uh, S2 case or S3 case. So actually, this is very similar to the N equal two. So you theory on S S3. And then Z becomes uh, sorry, here. A hat equal uh, beta A. Beta is a uh, length of the S1. And uh, this becomes uh, So this is uh, just a uh, uh, van der Monde determinant for to fix this gauge. And uh, I vector, this is uh, come from this one. Of course, there are many or a huge cancellation between the uh, denominator and denominator. And the final result is uh,
Yes. Ah, this is same. Okay. And for the chiral multiplet, there is a same procedure, and we have uh, these things for the uh, psi and phi in a uh, chiral multiplet. It's just a scalar and vector, our uh, spinner. So it's uh, I mean, spinner is this same, but the uh, representation is different. So then it becomes. Uh, Gamma is called the uh, elliptic gamma function. So this is uh, what uh, we do right there. Uh, okay. So this is just a uh, uh, I mean straightforward computation. Of this this. One. Okay, then it becomes the uh, same uh, as the index computation. I mean, counting the number. It's uh, use a pre solar uh, exponential or something like that. Then it coincides with this expression. Okay, so from this, uh, we can compute a super common index. And uh, for the uh, for the cyber duality case, we if we choose the R charge appropriately, then uh, so this con this not a simple <laughs> this complex uh, integral is a uh, uh, co uh, coincide for the cyborg dual pairs. Actually, so this uh, integration number of the integration is different. Uh, actually, this is rank, so it's uh, for electric theory it's n c, but uh, dual theory it's uh, n f minus n c. So this integral and, and the integration is completely different, but there is uh, some identity found by the mathematician, and uh, we found uh, an actual coincidence. So it is a very strong support uh, for the cyborg duality. Actually, cyborg duality, uh, there are no, not so much uh, support uh, before the, this index, I think. Uh, actually, there's only the two fifth matching condition or some string theory or something like that. But uh, here, this exception gives uh, infinite number by expanding on p and p primes, but it's a uh, coincide, so it's nice. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, about. Uh, so this is about the uh, super conformal index, and then I will move to the uh, different one. I mean, computation of the. Uh, Gauge in a condensation. Uh, okay, no question. Okay. Okay. So this case, as he said. This is for so this is baby is a whole with the uh, codes and maddis. So this is uh, yeah. Okay. So first of all, for the I don't say about chiral multiplet. Chiral multiplet v equal uh, 
if we choose uh, this delta psi dagger has, uh, I mean, satisfying this uh, bound, then delta V bosonic is like uh, So the saddle point is the same, I mean, trivial one for the, for the chiral multiplicator. But with this choice, for the vector multiplicator, saddle point is an unsafe dial connection. But uh, uh, actually, I will move to the S1 cross R3, I mean flat space. This case, V becomes a D M phi squared plus F squared. So there is a no this uh, term here. So actually not phi equals zero, but D M phi. I mean, phi is covariant constant is required. OK. And uh, this is a comment about the holomorphy. But uh, so there's no super potential. Oh, oh so it's super, <coughs> super field. There's no notion of super field, but uh, actually, we consider the If you consider this uh, delta exact term, then uh, because the delta psi bar is uh, epsilon bar f bar for this choice, you can see uh, uh, if this act on this one, uh, because of if we choose the eta bar as this one, then satisfy uh, this combination. Okay, So it gives just uh, del w bar del phi phi bar times f bar. So it is just a super potential term, OK, in a component. OK, so this, so this is like uh, delta phi bar i, delta w bar times f bar plus uh, fermion. OK, so this is. Ah. This uh, exact, that exact circle that there, should they repeat that to connect to my mind, which is trans uh, ah. choice or not? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just, uh, maybe it's related, but I, sorry, I don't, I don't know. It's a relation. Yeah. Mm, OK. OK. So, so this is a super potential term. So this is, yeah, delta is at, Actually, it's uh, almost trivial, but <laughs> But here, uh, this eta bar or epsilon breaks uh, uh, Lorentz symmetry or uh, so rotation symmetry. But uh, this result uh, is not, I mean, rotational invariant. And uh, if we increase the fermion, also it's a rotational invariant. Okay? I mean. Can I ask you something? To do this, when I do my theory in each of the potential, right? Sorry? To do this, my theory in each of the potential. If I don't have one, Oh, no, no, yeah, I mean, uh, just uh, consider the, the, yeah, some function of fi fiber and consider this combination, then it's a delta exact, okay? So this is a form of the super potential. So I, I don't need to start with the super potential in the original Lagrangian, like, whatever I want, to oh. more. Yeah, 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 true, true, yes, yes. Yeah, so this combination is, uh, yeah. So this is, yeah, I mean, almost trivial, <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. 
actually you can construct this one. I mean, so actually, so the holomorphic combination, I mean, anti-holomorphic combination doesn't uh, uh, give any contribution for this localization computation. Okay. What do you mean by holomorphic here? A holomorphic? Uh, this, I mean, uh, this is just, uh, yeah, I mean, fiber, I mean, this combination. This only includes fiber and uh, yeah. no phi or something like that. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, I mean, it doesn't, uh, I mean, anti-holomorphic uh, uh, variable, anti-holomorphic coupling, anti-holomorphic variable cannot uh, contribute to the, uh, these types of the computation. It's almost, uh, in a flat space, it's almost like, I mean, <laughs> as a user, <laughs> I mean, anti yeah. Phi uh, is in which representation of the color group? Uh, this one? You have to be gauge invariant, I guess. Right, 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 right. right. Why is it representation? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, any, any. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's contracted. Just, uh, yeah, this is contracted. My most general uh, gauge invariant operator, I right, right. only with time. Right, 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 okay. So yeah, so this is like a user superpotential argument, but uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we just, yeah, usually we use a super field or something, but we don't, yeah. This is delta example. Uh, are you saying that the anti-holomorphic anti parameters uh -huh. in the uh, of the superstation uh -huh. only to exact terms? It's true. It's true, true. Therefore, they yeah. cannot affect the field. Right, right, right. We can change uh, such things. Yeah, that is the user's yeah, comment. But uh, yeah, here uh, we... That, that's what you mean by holomorphic. Right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah I, just, I just wanted to understand the statement. So it's huh? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Statement is just uh, this is a uh, delta exact. So t this type of the uh, this type this type of the deformation cannot change the result. Okay. Uh, for the for the okay. So this is uh, yeah user statement of the holomorphicity. Okay. Then okay. So let's move to the gauging of condensation. In in n equal one. Oh, first of all, we consider super young males on S3 cross S. Uh, R, sorry, R3 cross S1. So this is, uh, I mean, the computation is uh, almost uh, same as this Davies at all. But uh, okay, there's some something that we need to care about. But, uh, okay, so gauging condensation is this one. Uh, here, G can be anything. I mean, any semi-simple algebra, but uh, for definiteness, or I mean, uh, for the simplicity of the notation. Uh, so in this case, N C minus. We choose S and C. And uh, then, what I said, uh, localization is uh, just adding these terms. Plus Fermi. Okay. Okay, so then the theory is weak coupling. limit on instant or ASD or instant. Answer the connection. Okay. So this is, uh, yeah, actually the classical computation on this background. So it's tractable. Okay. Not okay. And then, this is by the gross uh, yeah, Pipitaevsky uh, configuration on R3 cross S1 are uh, classified by instant on charge. So this is, uh, of course, uh, 
and the Wilson diyor. Oh. On the, this S1 direction, uh, we call it A0 direction. And finally, it's a mo there's a monopole charge. For U1R. So this U1R is because of this uh, Wilson loop. Eh? This breaks uh, again symmetry G to the U1R. Okay. So this is top. So you probably have a relatively simple expression for B. Right? Sorry. Ah, uh, delta B uh, for the fermion. Uh, I I do not write down, but uh, it's uh, yeah. Of course, it's a simple one, but uh, yeah. Actually, fermion for the fermion is uh, lambda and lambda bar are coupled, uh, so it uh, gives uh, something lambda bar equals zero condition or something like that. So yeah. Okay. So we need a. So we need a two. Two zero mode. Okay. At zero mode means that a zero Fermi on zero mode. Because uh, there is a I mean it's a lambda lambda. Okay. But uh, for example instanton has a two N C zero mode. So instanton cannot give C this one. But uh, so we need a I think a, a uh, anti safe dual connection with uh, two zero mode. It's called uh, fundamental, uh, sorry, it's called uh, fundamental monopole on S3 cross S1, ah, sorry, R3 cross S1. Okay, sorry. So break, uh, so Okay, so then it is known there is a uh, R plus one uh, fundamental monopoles. This is uh, actually very simple, I mean, well known one. One is a tedia of a PPS monopole, I mean, Tofu to Polyakov monopole. Or more precisely, it is a fractional instant. Uh, T zero means the BPS monopole is defined by uh, R three, okay, R three, and uh, there is a scalar. I mean, for the two for the monopole, T zero means phi is can be considered as a, this A zero, okay. just uh, changing the. I mean, that is called T zero BPS monopole. Okay. In uh, S one cross R three, I mean, <laughs> yeah, BPS monopole is a gauge gauge field a mu uh, mu equal one two three, and phi, okay. In a was a scalar, okay. The Toft Polyakov monopole has a scalar, and uh, we can. Uh, 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 this is a non-trivial some con configuration, and we interpret this as a uh, a zero. Then it's called a uh, uh, TDR of BPS monopole. Okay, it's a uh, it's a uh, BP. I mean, <laughs> satisfies the BPS condition. Uh, TDR. I mean, uh, this TDR means uh, I, I will explain. Okay. Just, just the Sorry. Uh, uh, not actually. It's a fractional instant. Okay, I, I will explain. Sorry. 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 For a mu, yes. Yeah, for a mu, yes. Because if you never rift it. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, instanton, but it's a, actually it's R three, so it's non-compact. Oh, 
R3 cross S1. Yes, but there is R3 cross S1. So yes. Trivial dependence on the S1 direction coordinate, right? So. Right, right, right. It's because uh, as you said previously, it sounds like uh, there is no dependence. Okay. In the, in the way you said it before. I mean, this is for, for this one. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I actually, yeah. There is a and uh, there's a there's a R one. This and there's another one. Because ah, more. Karta crime monopole found by the Pilsen E and the Kimion D. Uh, so actually, so so TDR means uh, for, there's a brain picture. Maybe this is uh, for SU three case in uh, for this three case in for this is identified as S one, and there is a, for example three D four brains wrapping this uh, one. Okay, then instant one is a D zero. Instant. This has a charge one. I mean, instant charge one. And then take a TDL. Then it becomes uh, like a this one. So D three, D three, D three. Okay. Uh, because uh, oh sorry and uh, phi equal for example phi one phi two phi three this is a uh, uh, Wilson line so in some coordinate it's on uh, this one okay then this d zero of t zero becomes uh, d one okay d one wrapping this dual circle. But uh, because of this D3, we can uh, move this D1 to the far away in R3 direction or somewhere. Uh, then, OK, so this is called uh, BPS monopole. So this segment is a BPS monopole. OK, in this picture, I, actually, this gives uh, uh, monopole configuration, user one in a 3D because we consider D3. Uh, we forget about the time direction. Okay, so this because the monopole, this is also monopole, but uh, this D1 is called. Uh, this laps uh, this S1. This is called the Kaltakrai monopole. Okay, for 3D picture, it's uh, I mean this is non non compact uh, limit or something like that. So this there is no this Kaltakrai monopole, but uh, if we compactify it, so there is a Kaltakrai monopole. OK, so then uh, this instanton have charge one, but uh, this BPS monopole have fractional instanton charges. OK. And the solution, XP solution of the, this, uh, this segment uh, is uh, uh, given by just a replacement of the, this phi to the A0. OK. Is clear? Not clear. <laughs> clear. OK. What? <laughs> so forget about this one. Yeah, we can consider this D1. Okay. So this is a BPS configuration, and there is a TDR of this one in this picture. It is called uh, uh, here BPS monopole or fractional instant. And if we consider the, some bound sets of these uh, three, then it becomes an instant. But uh, or or uh, Carolan. But uh, we can consider the, this fraction, I mean, just part of this one only. Then it's called BPS. Okay. Okay, maybe I can, <laughs> yeah, I can write down the uh, solution explicitly because this is known. I mean, this is like uh, use our uh, Toft Polyak monopole. We can write down the explicit solution in, in a textbook. But uh, I'm just replacing phi to a zero. But uh, for the Kaltak line monopole, it should depend on the x zero direction because it's a Kaltak line monopole. But it's a bit strange. But uh, actually, from this picture, Kaltak line monopole and the other BPS monopoles are not distinct. I mean, it's same. In a, so it should be same. Actually, uh, if we take a different gauge for the Toft Polyak monopole, then we can think. Uh, uh, we can have uh, this uh, uh, monopole is the same as uh, this one. So it's, uh, I mean, it's all, of, all of them are actually the same uh, class of solution. So 
question. Okay. The proof polygon of monopole, the uh -huh. solution depends only on R3, on the coordinates on R3. Uh -huh. So you have field 5, but it's, it's all functions on R3. So on R3, yeah, for, for, for this, this, this one, yes. But your picture is clearly, huh? the things are not invariant on the translation. Ah, okay, so okay. Okay, so actually. Something localized. Right, right. Yeah, actually, for the for the one BPS model, if we consider one just one BPS model by the gauge transformation, it's a singular gauge. It's a, called a hedgehog. Then uh, it becomes a, a X zero independent. Yeah, but uh, for but uh, this gauge is uh, not. Uh, I mean, for for yeah. <coughs> but if we consider the, uh, several one, then there's no gauge that makes. Uh, uh, make them uh, X0 independent. Only the one mob. Okay, so that is uh, what's uh, here. That, that is uh, s strange, but uh, that is, uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, this Karzakura mob was found from, the, from this picture. I mean, then there should be something. But it's, uh, yeah, it's related to the gauge, yeah, dependence or something. Actually, this color sub crime monopole is uh, extra dependent, usually in a, in a user uh, gauge dependence. Okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay then, uh, okay, so that means, uh, <laughs> that means, so, yeah, if, 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 of course, I see NC or something, then there is a SU2 embedding. Uh, Related to the simple root. One to R, and also, uh, uh, oh, sorry, this is a. So then V is this one. This is a BPS monopole. So it's uh, clear from this picture, uh, this segment. It corresponds to the simple root. Oh, sorry. So I did not write down the explicit form, but uh, it's. Then the magnetic charge, I mean, magnetic charge is uh, this alpha i. I mean, this is the label of the. Magnetic charge and uh, sorry, uh, instant on charge. Instant on charge is uh, Q equal so it's proportional to this combination and the classical action. S equal minus I tau alpha I. But, uh, okay. So, then the culture crime monopole. This is, uh, as you expect, magnetic charge is uh, alpha zero. It's uh, uh, this for, the, for the, this SUNC case. Uh, Given by this one, okay. So affine root. I mean, it's a. Uh, I mean, lowest root. Okay. So uh, as as you see in uh, use our picture, uh, this alpha zero and alpha i are uh, always. I mean, equivalent. And charge Q equal one plus alpha zero phi, and S is. Uh, Okay, so this looks uh, different from this one, but this is just, uh, I mean, uh, uh, coordinate dependence in uh, the algebra. Sorry, beta is uh, uh, 
length of this one okay what is uh, this one uh, we, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, we define this one. I mean, uh, sorry, I will use uh, maybe, <laughs> sorry, define this one. Sorry. Uh, I have, yeah, sorry, uh, actually, I, 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 pl <laughs> I plan to write down the explicit solution. I mean, so the problem of it includes this V, but uh, sorry, <laughs> I did, didn't do that. So. <laughs> Okay, then we here we can identify the background which contribute to the, this gauge the condensation. Then, we, then what we should do is just uh, uh, evaluate uh, the lambda lambda in that background classically, or uh, if, if we need it, including a one loop correction. Because uh, R3 is non compact uh, and uh, the three direction. So we need to find back here of the theory first. Okay. So there should be, for, for this case, we need, yeah, there is some notion of a uh, back here. So Okay, but uh, computation is a weak limit. I mean, semi classical. Okay, so then the. This is considered the effective action for massless fields. Okay. Here, it becomes uh, just a U1R vector multiple. So this is free. Okay, free means uh, there is uh, only the adjoint matter. So there is no coupling. Okay. This is because by this uh, Wilson line. And uh, actually, with uh, zero culture crime, Momentum. Sorry, if you want to do the localization of S1 mm -hmm. times R3, mm -hmm. I saw that if. S1 times R3, okay. R3, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you first should specify the boundary condition at the infinity of R3 at mm -hmm. the level of the path integral. Right, but it's, uh, yeah, here we take the user one, I mean, something dumping at okay, infinity. Dumping. Like, like a user instant in R4 or something like that. It's a it, user field theory, like a boundary condition. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, of course, if we, yeah, this is, I mean, yeah. But then what, what do you mean by need to find back here? I thought that fixes the boundary position already, so. Ah, uh, yeah, actually, there is a choice. <laughs> actually, this, uh, yeah, yeah, this, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, this uh, Wilson line is moduli. But uh, there, there's a choice of the subtle point, but there is no choice of the boundary condition. Yeah, sorry, so this is a moduli. I mean, phi is a moduli. I mean, moduli of the back here, a classical moduli of the back here, okay? Oh, so, okay, so need to find back here means need to find the saddle point. Right, yeah, saddle point, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some, yeah, actually, some of them are lifted, and it, actually, there is only the NC points uh, remains. Oh, so we need to find, yeah. I was a little bit confused because it said non compact, and hence you have to find the back here. Uh, if it's compact, uh, actually, yeah, we should uh, uh, integrate over the back here, I mean, some over the back, I mean, back here. It's not called back here, but. Uh, but here it's a uh, yeah, non-compact. Uh, so for the field theory, we should satisfy, I mean, specify the back here. Okay. If it is R2, uh, R1, then it's okay. It's, uh, we need to yeah, integrate over everything, like uh, integrate over this A itself, like a three partition function or four partition function. It's okay. But it's, uh, this is non-compact. So we need to specify, I mean, we need to fix what is uh, A, I mean, back here. Not okay. I mean, it's, it's a user, I mean, general, general field theory method. I mean, not, not Suji or something. I mean, if we have a non, uh, um, two or three or four non compact direction, then we need to specify the back here. Uh, but uh, in low dimension or a compact case, uh, we need to 
integrated over. So, sorry, but you impose the condition that the gas is dump of the zero at infinity. Yeah, but a is yeah a is uh, a is okay. A does I mean. So a does so what boundary condition impose for the a? Ah, okay, M or maybe it's a dump. I mean, dump means action is finite or something like that. Uh, or um, a is a is constant. Huh? It's uh, okay. It's like a Wilson line in a user sense, I mean, for us. So A goes to constant to the infinity. Right, 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 right. But then yeah. you have to choose the value of the constant to fix the boundary condition. That's true. That, that is what we, we want to do here. Oh, OK. Yes. OK. OK. <laughs> I'm not OK. Maybe. Anyway. OK. Then the. Actually, it's zero Kazakh crime momentum. Actually, because of the, this uh, weak coupling limit and uh, this, uh, yes, you want a uh, vector multiplet, actually, there is no coupling between the massive, massive one and the massless one. So we can forget about the mass, massive. Massive means, that, I mean, uh, non zero Kazakh momentum state. It's massive in a 3D sense. OK. So we can consider it as a 3D theory. So it's reaction to 3D. I mean, Machine mode decoupled in a T goes to limit, infinity limit. Okay, so then there's a 3D n equal to U1R vector multiple. Actually, it's um, yeah, in the literature it's uh, n equal one, but uh, I think uh, in a user sense it's n equal two. You, I think, so, but uh, anyway. So then phi is uh, this one. I mean, this is very soon, right? Constant mode in uh, C, and this is a dual photon. Actually, by using a Bianchi identity or something like that, by I uh, mean, adding uh, some 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 terms imposing a Bianchi identity, we need yeah we can do. That. I mean, actually, this is a U one, so we can dualize explicitly. Okay, this is a Wilson loop. So this, yeah, can be a classical module. Okay. So this Z is a, maybe a classical module of the space. So this is a three n equal two chiral. Actually, there is a supersymmetry, so it <coughs> should be this combination. And then, original action. Original action is just a uh, Yamil's action plus, uh, yeah plus some uh, topological term becomes, oh my gosh. So this is just a gauge coupling constant or something like, I mean, it's a dual gauge coupling constant because it's a dual photon. It's k -lab. OK. So original Yamis action is a Kera potential. So it's a no potential. So it's a flat. It's of course, uh, of course, because the uh, Ilson line is modular. So this X is a classical modular. Are you taking this up to the infinity now? Sorry, T, t goes in infinity limit, yes. Uh, actually, yeah, here, first uh, we consider that t goes to infinity limit. Okay. You mean the circle? You asked me. Yes, the circle. circle size is finite. Ah, uh, circle size is finite, better. better. Why, why did you truncate all the current supply mode? Uh, because of the t goes to infinity limit. Because t goes to infinity means, uh, I mean, so we, uh, me, externally we couple limit. Okay. So if we consider some, some, uh, some loop collection to the mass, uh, individual, uh, the machine mode, it becomes uh, uh, some beta times something, but uh, it's uh, uh, translated by the, this uh, beta times x measure minus t because of the coupling constant. So in t goes to infinity limit, that uh, vanishes always. Okay. So actually, there is the only the uh, mass dimension beta and uh, beta times x measure minus t or something, um, one over beta times x measure minus t or something. It's very small in a t goes to limit. So it becomes uh, decoupled. So much more decoupled. Okay. Yeah. And so R can be fixed. Actually, R, yeah, R goes to limit, R goes to, uh, well, beta goes to zero limit is uh, discussed by this uh, uh, Davies. Uh, 
but uh, here it's fixed, but uh, modify the action. OK, then to find the back here, we need a scalar, scalar potential. Yeah, it's a, here, yeah, uh, with the back here, we need a scalar potential. Yeah, it's a straightforward computation. We can do that, but <laughs> it's a for the, I mean, I mean, some, something easy way. I mean, in principle, it's okay, but uh, easy way is the uh, scalar potential. Oh, sorry, this is scalar potential is related to the super potential. I mean, fermion by linear term because of a Suji. Okay. Because of supersymmetry, phi is related to the scalar by linear. So if we compute the scalar, scalar bilinear, we have found the super potential or scalar potential. So we find the back here. Okay. So this is a fermion bilinear. So we need the two fermion zero mode. So we can, we can well, we should consider the fundamental monopole. If we, consider the, if we want to uh, consider the scalar potential, we need a different one. I mean, different uh, uh, configuration. But uh, to consider the fermion bilinear in an effective action, OK? If we want to compute the fermion bilinear in an effective action, uh, it's, uh, uh, I, mean, I mean, necessary to compute two fermions. OK? And then the procedure is the user one. I mean, user instant on computation or monopole computation. So pass integral measure of the zero mode on uh, this fundamental monopole is like uh, this. This SJ is a classical action with a fundamental monopole, including, uh, I mean, yes, uh, culture crime monopole here, as I wrote down here. Actually, uh, it becomes a phi, not phi, but it becomes a Z, I mean, including a dial photon. Be it's because of the boundary term uh, given by the sometimes imposing a Bianchi identity to dialize something. So this is correct one, as expected. It's uh, actually a hormonal combination. And uh, sorry. By a fundamental monopole, do you mean the embedding? Uh, if you put a monopole by a simple Yes, yes, simple one, and also a culture crime monopole. This, yeah, uh, fundamental monopole means that this BPS uh, monopole plus uh, culture crime monopole. Okay. So I learned to one to R and zero. Alpha zero. Plus, plus, plus. No, 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 not superimposed. If we superimpose, it becomes a bound, bound, bound state. It becomes an instant. But, uh, the fundamental monopole means either BPS monopole? Yeah. Okay, okay. Right, right, right. Then we have a two uh, fermion zero mode. OK, so this A is a position in the R3, I mean, mono, position with the monopole in the R3, and it, it, this is a user, I mean, uh, to play of monopole measure. And omega is a U1 uh, phase, and this is a position in the R3, and this is a fermion zero mode. With I. Okay. This is a bit uh, strange, but the cutoff scale, mu and gauge coupling constant, gauge coupling, 
g at the cutoff scale mu, which is defined, which defined at t equal zero. Okay. That's because actually we modify the action, but we do not modify the measure. So this is a measure comes from the measure of the original theory. So this measure should respect this t equals zero theory. Okay. So what? Yeah. Here we consider that t goes to infinity limit. Action is different, but. Uh, Okay. And then, uh, fermion zero mode. It's uh, given by the supersymmetric transformation of the fermion, and uh, explicitly given by the. Okay, here, sorry, here is a x uh, infinity, special infinity, okay? Uh, this tensor mean just means uh, uh, we do not write down the uh, gauge indices. So gauge indices is like uh, this one, I mean, okay, specified by alpha j here and here. So this is a uh, abbreviation. <laughs> so it's not, I mean, this doesn't mean important things. Okay, uh, here, uh, actually, uh, here uh, we consider the different back, I mean, different background, I mean, different BPS monopoles, the cuts and crab monopoles, and we uh, already summed here. Okay, so this is okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a free fermion uh, propagator here from the uh, instant on to the fermion. Instant on the fermion. It's in a x goes to infinity limit. This is a user in a monopole or instant on computation. Okay, then superpotential, which reprodu reproduce uh, this correlator. I mean, I mean that means uh, reproducing. I mean, reproducing this one. We need some some terms uh, by fermion binary terms in effective action. Which is given by the this one. Sorry, I'm getting lost. So I thought mm. that you're doing the localization. So you should uh, mm. identify the sort of point and then do the compute the one loop determinant around it. Uh, a one loop computation, yeah. okay. You seem to be doing something rather different. So uh, yeah, actually, yeah, th this is a classical. I mean, this is a classical result. I mean, just uh, in, uh, just plugging in the classical configuration into the field. It's the same. Actually, I I do not write down the one loop correction, one loop determinant around the BPS monopole. That yeah, that is true. Uh, but actually, uh, it's a bit uh, difficult. But we can evaluate it. Okay. And then uh, the result doesn't change. This one for the superposition. So the one loop determinant is bound. Sorry. One loop determinant trivial. Not trivial. Actually, it's uh, it's the, the uh, it changes the scalar potential only. That doesn't I mean doesn't doesn't change the potential. I mean scalar potential or something like. That. Uh, well, let's see. But I just want mm -hmm. to compute. Lambda lambda, so right. So mm -hmm. and then, then, then it's just one expression. I don't even know why you're talking about the effective potential. 
Okay. So, I mean, in the localization, you specify some correlator or something. Correlator, okay. yeah, right. yes. So yeah. that's yeah. lambda lambda. Lambda lambda, lambda yes. Yeah, the Q exact term, and the rest uh -huh. is all the computation. So uh -huh. I don't know why you begin to talk about super potential, et cetera, in this way. I mean, uh, you want to use yeah, homomorphism. Yeah, yeah. Actually, right? yeah, yeah, actually, what, what I mean here, just, I mean, localization just means uh, uh, considers uh, uh, theory with a different action, with, uh, which depends on T. So uh, here we just uh, cons consider or compute uh, correlator, I mean, fermion bilinear in uh, some strange uh, action, depend on T. Okay. okay, so this is just a user computation, except uh, the action is very strange, but it's, so it becomes a weak coupling limit or something like that. So, okay. Uh, sorry, yeah, 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 fine, but I thought that the constant T to infinity, mm -hmm. and then you can uh, restrict to the third point locus, but but you should still take into account the one loop correction and everything. Sorry, maybe okay, maybe please please yeah okay. please continue. Maybe maybe I can see after. Okay, the third point is AS, uh, AST connection. It's a BPS multiple. Yes. So right, yeah. yeah, and uh, actually with uh, with with these terms, actually there should be some 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 correction by the one loop, but uh, it only affects the Kera potential. So this is. Uh, yeah, actually, this is a, just a classical result, but it's okay. I mean, one loop, one loop is not. I, I see, but then it sounds like you are using the holomorphics in some way. Right? Actually, yeah, yeah, if you, okay, okay. No, yeah, here, yeah, I use holomorphics, but uh, yeah, of course, yeah, this is yeah, just a trick. I mean, we, we can compute the scalar potential directly in this theory, I mean, with uh, some something. Uh, okay, but uh, here, yeah, it's uh, just a trick, I mean, trick or some, some shortcut uh, to, to, to compute the uh, Potential. Okay. Uh, I see. Because if you use the holomorphism, huh? I mean, that, that's what essentially what the math uh, calls the door uh, and holomorphism. Are that is, are that is, no, actually, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah that was the weak com small no, no, no. computation, but then yeah. analytical continuous radius, that's what they did. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, actually, analytical continuous of R is, I mean, dif dif I mean, is different. I mean, R is uh, not uh, analytic. So. Uh, yes, sorry. Maybe, maybe go ahead. Yes. Okay. How did you do the film? Ah, this one. Ah, actually, the fermion zero mode is given by the uh, Suji transformation uh, with this background. A uh, Suji transformation of the lambda, delta lambda. It uh, becomes a zero mode easily. Okay, I, I, around, around the bucket. How do you get the propagator? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, actually, this is just not propagate. I mean, this, yeah, this is a zero mode, and it becomes uh, uh, this propagator type in a, in a large X. I mean, why? It's a, uh, yeah. I mean, if, if you compute it, it's like that. It, actually, it, it's, uh, I mean, <laughs> delta lambda, three transformation is given by the something, by F or something. I mean, field strength, something like that. It, it's like uh, uh, something dumping, x1 over x squared or something. Okay? So, this fermion zero mode also dumping in this term, and it becomes uh, just a free program. Free program means just a 1 over x times gamma mu or something like that. Okay. So gamma mu is uh, in a fermion zero mode. So this is, yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. So this is just uh, asymptotic behavior of the zero mode. So asymptotic behavior becomes just a 1 over x something. Okay. So it's not, I mean, yeah, not special, I mean, not special meaning. Okay, so actually, so so this is x goes to infinity. So de maybe there's a derivative, but uh, to determine the potential, it's not it's okay. And then, okay, so uh, okay, so the vacuum uh, is determined by. Logic. <laughs> Logic. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. We compute uh, uh, some correlator, okay? In a then in a low in a low energy effective action, a uh, low energy effective action, a Wilsonian effective action contains something lambda lambda because of the to to give this one, okay? So this this is determined. So we can uh, 
specify what is the uh, effective action, I mean, uh, this coefficient in the effective action. Okay. So lambda, I mean, fermion bilinear, ineffective action. Then, then because of the supersymmetry, we, we, don't, we don't care about superpotential everything, but uh, there is a supersymmetry, so we need, there should be scalar potential in the effective action, right? Is, it, is it lambda lambda identified with it? Lambda lambda identified, yeah, with x, yes, 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 yeah, yes. It contains, yeah, sorry, yes. Yeah, I would say that uh, if you go to three dimensions, two dimensions, if it's the three dimensions, they go to break supersymmetry, and then you go, then this is the polyoko potential, polyoko mechanism for confines, where there is a cosine for the uh, your photon. Hmm. But this is a supersymmetrized version of that. And, hmm. and also a little bit of the finite subdivision of the response. Okay. Okay, then the vacuum is determined. So, 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 so you have a, you have a you assume some potential coupling in effective action mm -hmm. and compute the two point function of terminals from the potential coupling and then match it with the classical computation of this mm -hmm. on the ground. Mm -hmm. That's the way to fix superpotential. Yes, 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 yeah. Yes. Okay. But maybe, yeah. Maybe you have one time a diagram? Sorry? One, one fine diagram? One fine diagram. Yeah, yeah, two, yeah. Only the two, yeah, yeah. But very much bilinear, so. You have like a vertex induced from this terminal. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, one vertex. Yes, yes. You yeah, two. But you, you want to reproduce the classical computer. Right. Yeah, from the uh, yeah, low energy effective action. I mean, low energy limit of the effective action. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we can compute the scalar potential directly. Yeah, it should be, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, this is a trick, but uh, yeah, it's uh, easy. Okay. Then, mm. oh, sorry, C2 is, uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. C2 is a dual coxeta number, sorry. And W is a fundamental weight. Fundamental weight means w, w i times alpha j equal delta i j or something like that, okay? Alpha zero is the sum of the minus sum of the alpha one to alpha r, okay? So then we, you can check. Actually, exponential is the same for this computation. I mean, this exponential is the same for this value. And uh, yeah, it solves the uh, equation. Ah, sorry, flatness condition. Okay, so two over two i tau. Get it? Okay, then plugging this back the superpotential. So this is a low energy superpotential. Okay, here we consider the S1, so there's a beta, but uh, as, a, as I s explained in the uh, uh, first lecture, if we found this uh, superpotential, I mean, suppose in a low energy limit, then by derivative with lambda, or I mean, I mean, by taking lambda to the chiral superfield, we can compute the uh, uh, lambda lambda from this one. Okay. Yeah, means so it is. So this becomes Correct one. Okay. So here, because this, this, these, these are defined at uh, t equals zero, so it's okay. And uh, actually, this, yeah, this doesn't depend on the beta. Okay, that is the result. So we can take the beta goes to infinity limit to the R four. Then. Okay, so then they in a 
weak limit computation, we found uh, this things. Fundamental weight, fundamental weight, yes. So, or something like that. So now, consider theory at the t equals zero. So what we consider the t goes to infinity limit, it's different. So first, as a correlator, original theory. But uh, okay. So this means uh, the action is. Uh, Actually, the same. I mean, original one t equals zero, but uh, the vacuum. If we, ch I mean, choosing uh, uh, the real, I mean, correct vacuum for the action with t, then use a localization computation or something. There is some terms remains. One. Actually, because of the vacuum is changed, so this doesn't vanish in general. But uh, actually, here, vacuum are discrete. There is only, I mean, NC vacuum. Only NC vacuum here uh, because of the, this fraction. So if this is this change, this divergent. I mean, it's a, I mean, if this change, it's a, I mean, up, up, I mean, sudden change, okay? If there's a modular, then uh, this T dependence, I mean, means, uh, can means uh, dependence on, I mean, on the modular or something like that, but it's, back is discrete, okay? So we, so this should be zero. I mean, as a user, I mean, uh, assumption for the index or uh, localization computation. Actually, oh, actually, if if there is something like uh, uh, asymptotic uh, asymptotic behavior changing, then may I mean this may change. Like with the index can change. Well, localization doesn't work anymore. But uh, here we assume as a user. I mean like. Uh, user with the index in a field theory case. There's no such things happen here. Okay, so because of the backyard are uh, discrete, so back, I mean, vacuum doesn't change. That is the conclusion, okay? So that means uh, in this uh, T goes to infinity limit computation can give uh, uh, this gauge in the condensation. So you're already using the n vacuum as an input? No, this is a, yeah, no, no. This is a, uh, in, in a t, it, this is a t goes to infinity limit. Okay. 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 Then it uh, becomes a t, yeah. If, yeah, of course, if, if it, yeah, there's some sad, sudden, sudden something <laughs> happens, I mean, it becomes one vacuum or something like, it's, it happens, like a wall crossing, or, I don't know, or the within index jumps. Then, it's, yeah, of course, this uh, computation is, doesn't work. But it's a vacuum the T equal to infinity theory on mm. R R three times S one. Right, 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 right. Okay. Right. Yeah. And then we change yeah, one over T to the zero to so, so one. Why that was discrete? 
discrete at uh, yeah at at least at the t goes to infinity limit. What? Okay. Uh, we computed. Okay. Sorry. Computed. I thought that you need that to compute it. Uh, like no, no. We computed it for the t goes to infinity limit. The action. If action is a change, then we can compute this one because it's a weak coupling. Okay. okay. Then we found it's a NC vacuum. Okay. As it changes, uh, t goes infinity to t finite, uh, one over t to zero, oh, zero to something. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. If we, if we change, it's yeah drastic change, like a jump of the index or something like that. It can happen. But it's uh, yeah, usually assumed in a, in a user computation, I mean, user localization technique, it doesn't happen. That is an assumption. OK. But, mm, OK. If it happens, yeah, if it's a modular, I mean, yeah, the vacuum is not discrete, then t, if we change the t, then the, the vacuum can change in a modular space or something like that. It can happen, but it's discrete for this case. So it's OK, I think. Then, yeah, here we consider the localization in uh, S1, S1, uh, sorry, S1 cross uh, R3. But we can directly use this one to the R4 case. Then maybe it's uh, more simple. But this doesn't work. Actually, This is a two scale for the for the this case, and uh, coupling is weak for this region. This region is weak because uh, here the coupling is, I mean, scale is here. So above this scale, I mean, much of the this scale is weak. But uh, here, this region becomes uh, strong. And even we take a t goes to infinity limit, then there should be some some region strong. So theory never becomes a strong so strong coupling. But uh, okay. For this case, for this case, this region is weak because uh, this factor. But uh, this region is also weak because uh, in this region, theory becomes a three dimensional. So it becomes weak. Okay. So in this case, uh, weak coupling computation is OK. But uh, for R4, there is no this scale. So theory never becomes uh, weak, uh, even if we take the t goes to infinity limit. Okay. So localization doesn't work here. So we need to compactify the S1. And S4 is not uh, good, as I explained. OK, so finally, consider any code 1 for the uh, vector. And the general action is like this one. Uh, here, this is a Yamil's term, but uh, we can consider the general action. Then we can include this, uh, the other terms. Then, uh, following the, this computation, OK. <laughs> and uh, yeah, some, some work. Uh, then. We can show this is given by the this uh, is given by the sorry. This one. This is a uh, called the uh, Venetian Yankelovitz potential. So Okay, so for this action, uh, the non-part of the collection is uh, given by this one. That is, uh, 
yeah, with some computation, we can show that. And then, uh, consider the chiral multiplet, matter multiplet. And then we can add the matter multiplet for, I mean, Kähler potential of the matter multiplet uh, arbitrary. Then it becomes a weak coupling. So we can uh, integrate the matter, matter uh, arbitrary weak. So it's a part, in a part of it, we can integrate the matter field. Okay, then we get uh, this action. But because of the, we should uh, integrate as a matter field with background uh, field, S or W alpha. Okay, so then it becomes this one. Then uh, the gauge in the, pot gauge in the condensation is given by this one, if we know this one, I mean, part of the result. Okay, and if the, the matter cell is, young, I mean, adjoint case, it is given, I mean, by this F is given by the matrix C equal one matrix model computation. Okay, that is give, called a digraph buffer. And uh, this means uh, there is some, some proof of the digraph buffer theory uh, by Katia's Douglas uh, Cyborg Witten and uh, Zanon uh, digraph buffer. Uh, something. But uh, they assumed uh, adding this term by hand. Uh, I mean, no potential potentially this, this one. Actually, we can uh, I mean, show this is okay for the non, I mean, non-suji breaking case, uh, G to G, then it's okay. But if, if you consider, the, uh, so for example, SU N2, SU N1 times SU N2 or something, then we cannot uh, trust uh, uh, adding this one is okay. But here, uh, this type of the computation can show uh, this is okay. I mean, this is just a uh, uh, straightforward computation of the super, I mean, uh, gauge in condensation. So this is okay. So that means, uh, yeah, for with uh, any chiral matter or any action, we can compute the uh, gauge in condensation by the part of the V integrating as uh, matter, okay. then fixing F. Okay. So this is uh, some proof. I mean, no part of the proof of the diagram of a conjecture. So that, that's it. Thank you very much.